Hey guys, it's Dick here today from All Dicked Up coming today to talk about a clamp-on bucket attachment and I'm actually using on my LS MT-122 um, MT-122 and I'm just going to tell you a little bit about this clamp-on attachment. I didn't buy the brand name Titan one. I bought the cheap Chinese one for $40 and this one you can definitely tell the build quality is subpar to Titan and I wanted to talk about clamp-on attachments in general. I have clamp-on forks and I have this clamp-on attachment for to move the trailer around. This trailer is about 2,000 pounds. A couple things about this in particular attachment. It will leave little imprints in your bed. I'll actually just throw some photos over the screen now. And as you can tell, there's just little imperfections on the bed. It's all dented. And I'm really not a fan of that. But it really does the good job. And if you're like me, you're planning on using it, it's okay. You're going to plan on replacing this bucket. I'm assuming this bucket's going to last me about five years and I'm going to replace it again because I'm just going to put a ton of clamp on attachments. It's just easier for me and I don't have to switch everything off, off and on and I'm not really doing heavy lifting. But tightening it down does leave a little crinkle. The next thing you want to know is when you're pushing this side to side, it does tend to move this way and that way. So as you're trying to move the trailer side to side, this will sway a little bit. Just be careful. If you're pushing up any kind of incline and stuff like that, this probably isn't the best way to do it. This is for like flat moving around, organizing trailers. I use it like right now I'm being lazy and I park way out back and in behind. So I just figured, forget it, I'm gonna use a little clamp on attachment. So this is how easy it is. You just, as you're gonna tell me the tractor, I don't mean get off the tractor, I come up, bang it up, pick it right up and then I move right out. So hope you guys enjoy this video. If you're thinking about getting one of these to move around, uh, trailers. I think it's good. This trailer I think is the heaviest trailer I'd want to go. Again, this is a little over 2,000 pounds. It's a big Tex 70 CH. I would not suggest going anything heavier than this. I think it's actually too much for this already because of how it moves around. I would say get a fixed ball some way to your bucket or figure a different way to move it around. This is a good little um, piece if you have like a bunch of little garden tractors under a thousand pounds. I mean this would be perfect. It wouldn't move around. But with this 2,000 pound one moving quickly as you can tell it, it really will shift it around. As you can tell, lifts it no problem. I'm gonna go backwards for you guys and pull it out of the way so you guys can see what it does. So let me pull back the shot. And you guys will be able to check it out.
stabilized it. I put the pin in to leave the trailer. And then literally, just get in. And so I put away my trailer. I just put it in back right here. 